everyone, I'm Ian Hickton from Eurogamer, and this is the ZX Spectrum, which, for those of you under 30 years of age, is the greatest video games machine ever made. Ever. For those of you who are old and lucky enough to know what a ZX Spectrum is, you might be interested in some news about the rebirth of the small but rather successful 1980s publishing house Hewson Consultants. Hewson shut shop in 1991, which, if you want to feel really old, is one year after Chris Bratt was born. But they opened their doors a couple of years ago and this week they announced a Kickstarter for their first new release in over 20 years, Hyper Sentinel, which which is set to release first on PC and iOS devices. Hewson Consultants published some of the best ZX Spectrum games of the era, and I guess maybe some Commodore 64 ones as well. Some of their best known games include Technician Ted, a Manic Miner style platformer, Avalon, a 3D adventure game whose graphics were way ahead of their time, and the game that's a direct inspiration for Hyper Sentinel, Iridium. Iridium is one of those legendary retro games that old fogies like me love to bang on about when we're reminiscing about the good old days, and after a hands-on with the demo, I can safely say that Hyper Sentinel feels really faithful to Iridium, whilst also giving the old school gameplay a modern makeover and an extra burst of speed. <laughs> The iOS demo, made available to Kickstarter backers and members of the press, features three out of the 12 levels that Houston aimed to include in the final release. As you've probably guessed from this gameplay, Hyper Sentinel is a strictly top-down affair, where the player's ship flies either left or right across the screen, shooting anything that looks like it might do explosion. Explode everything on the level and it'll trigger a boss fight, which in the case of the first two levels of the demo are a couple of gigantic turrets. The third level of the demo, the fifth from the actual game, has a more traditional boss fight, whereby a huge ship called the Viper must be destroyed while you also deal with smaller enemies. <laughs> While tricky to get to grips with at first, after a little bit of practice, the touchscreen controls work rather well. Dragging your finger up and down the screen will move your ship, whilst tapping the fire buttons will change its direction or give it a boost if you hold them down. And that's about it, really. There are online leaderboards and multiple level challenges to keep completionists happy, but the core action stays true to its retro roots and as such is pretty simplistic. I've included a link to the Kickstarter page in the description below, although you will have to pay about 15 quid to actually get your hands on the demo because you have to back the Kickstarter to play the demo. But uh, yeah, if you want to try that demo out for yourself, follow that link. But before you go, why not check out one of our other retro-themed videos that you can see here? Oh, and do give this video a like, and think about subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Goodbye!